This year marks the 20 year anniversary of Ninjas in Pajamas. We've been around for a very long time. We've been a long and successful legacy over uh, decades of competing at the top games. The legacy that has been built up has mainly been built up by winning. And by winning, that made us one of the most famous teams in the whole esports industry. The role of branding in esports have grown more important over the last couple of years. With the industry professionalizing, more teams and competition coming into play, and the fair share of eyeballs that are now looking at the scene. As a brand, for me, it's Swedish CS Legacy. It was built in 2001 by Hiron and Party. Uh, they became the best team in the world. Later, Wally and those guys built upon that brand in uh, 2007. And then, of course, the legendary CSGO lineup with Get Ryan Forest, who also became the best team in the world. So it's uh, Swedish CS legacy. But at one point, the brand stagnates in terms of usability, in terms of uh, keeping up with time and date, uh, but also in supporting the overall business goals as we continue growing and scaling, not only competing in games, but producing merchandise, by producing content, by interacting and engaging with partners, tournament organizers, and non-endemic brands and other stakeholders, which means that the brand needs to turn more robust. Here's the thing, right? People tend to think that rebrands are just the result of owners having too much time and money on their hands, right? And some probably are, but when you're doing it right, it's a response to a change in internal and external factors. NIP has grown so much that we've basically sort of outgrown our base set of assets. So updating them actually gives us a new way to express our brand. Uh, it really allows us to create much better content in the long run. And it's, it's a way of having a, a broader and more flexible foundation basically for our asset creation, for our product. So at first we try to gather the inside of the industry together with different stakeholders, including fans, colleagues, and partner sponsors. And then it's a crucial, like very important stage that we have to find the right agency to be with us. So that's the motto. We had a very audacious vision for NIP. We wanted to take NIP from a fragmented brand that had some blind spots and was absolutely showing its age to a brand with a clear identity, a powerful voice, and a renewed sense of self. With our brand motto, our brand tagline, expect the unexpected, this is what we want to be in the future. We define our brand archetype as a magician, which is so mysterious. We try to bring impossible thing and make it into something possible in the future. We worked extremely close with the leadership team across different countries, time zones, people who had strong opinions, differing points of view, to align that diversity of thought around what NIP was and what it should become. And we had to do all of this virtually and during a pandemic. So if you take a look at our new visuals, new logo, so you can see that is a combination of our old logo, which is the Japanese ninja shuriken, the weapon for the ninjas, together with something new Something new here is like we try to bring the Nin character in Japanese. Nin in ninjas. Nin stands for being stealthy, being uh, persistent, being resilient, being so powerful. That's something we want to bring into the core value of the ninjas. The new logo and everything just feels more uh, like a ninja. Um, and I really like the motto as well, like expect the unexpected. Because it feels like a, a ninja would say that. You never know what he's going to do or what he's doing. He just comes out of nowhere and he does his thing. It just gave me goosebumps. I'm speechless. I, I really don't know what to say. Do you have like a proper like ninja aspect to uh, NIP now, ninjas in pajamas, where before it was just a name brand. Now <laughs> it, just ha it carries the emotion of being a ninja. The result though is a radical brand transformation. We have touched every facet of the organization, from leadership, to culture, to operations, to community. Motto has helped NIP lean into the future as a leader. 
It is a message about who we want to be and what we want to be in the future as, as we go into the 20 years. And that uh, is the most important part for me. Brand is a visual reflection in terms of the visuals to what you see. But what I want everyone uh, and what is most important for me that people like is who we are, what we are about and what we want to be in the future.